Hello everyone, how is each and every one of you doing? I'm hoping that you all are having an amazing time. So thank you once again and a very warm welcome to another episode of Brion Squaddies. So uh, the British media have been reporting for a very long time how Prince Harry is so irrelevant, yet merely this news about Prince Harry's award Overshadowed a tour in Sri Lanka, a royal engagement by the bigger, bitter brother, and also the derangers are throwing tantrums. I also saw also that the Wikipedia page of Living Legends Aviation was edited. I mean, can we all aspire to be as irrelevant as Prince Harry this year? Because his irrelevancy is doing him some good. And well, today I want to pull out all the receipts of what the UK media have been doing. So for years now, the British media have told us that Prince Harry was a great, amazing pilot who fought for his country. And then when Prince Harry married a biracial woman, the narrative changed all of a sudden. Now they don't want to say how great Prince Harry was. Now they don't want to mention Prince Harry's accomplishments. Well, let me even first read out Prince Harry's accomplishments that was, post, uh, that was posted on the Officers Association page. So it's written that Prince Harry served in the British Army for 10 years and undertook two tours of Afghanistan launched a mental health initiative with the UK Ministry of Defence and created the Invictus Games. And they went ahead to say that we look forward to hearing more about his work as it takes him in new directions, knowing that veterans are important to him. Once an officer, always an officer of the British Armed Forces. And so many people were really, really proud about Prince Harry. The UK media kept reporting positive news about Prince Harry. Well, I even want to read you uh, what the Daily Mail wrote back then. So the Daily Mail wrote this article saying that one of the best young pilots the country has ever seen, Top Gun Prince Harry amazes US instructors with his flying skills that is from october of 2011 and then 13 years down the road the narrative has changed and it makes you wonder if these people are mad because prince harry is being celebrated for his achievements or are they just mad because the smear campaign is not bearing any fruits as they were promised because we are still talking about the same Prince Harry, the same Prince Harry whom they wrote positive things about 13 years ago. And right now they are very, very mad that Prince Harry is receiving an award. Yet they said that Prince Harry is one of the best young pilots in the country. So let's dive into the craziness that has been going around. So when it was announced that Prince Harry was going to get this award, there was crickets, absolute crickets from the royal family. The same family which continues saying that they still want Prince Harry back into the royal fold. Complete crickets. But then when Prince Andrew had these numerous sexual allegations against him and is on the Epstein list, he still gets to keep his home because blood is thicker than water. Like, seriously? That is the word that came from Kensington Palace, or rather the mouthpieces the British media. They said that King Charles is still not going to do anything about the Prince Andrew situation just because blood is thicker than water. These people are still very willing to say anything as long as they, uh, it's to defend the other royals. But when it comes to a point where they have to say the truth about Prince Harry or Meghan, they're never willing to do that. Even just saying congratulations to Prince Harry, is that something so hard to do? Well, it seems like it's something so hard to do for the royal family, right? And then, as if that was not enough, 
the Express goes ahead to write this article claiming how Royal Raw breaks out as fans convinced Prince William is a better pilot than Prince Harry. Well, I'm really sure that all this came from the palace, right? Because there's no way any sane person would say such a thing. I know that majority of us have seen Prince Harry flying and maybe there are videos of Prince William flying too, but obviously he can't be as good as Prince Harry because Prince Harry's was so popular and so many people continued to talk about it. So let's determine who's a good pilot between Prince Harry and Prince William. So there's this article stating that the training lasted 16 months with the pilots spending 8 months alone learning how to fly the machine in the first part. The second part was about how to fight with the machine. On Thursday, the British, uh, the British Ministry of Defense announced that 20 pilots had completed training on the Apache attack helicopter. Best graduate, Prince Harry, comma, Prince William's younger brother. And then they continue, William is only a co-pilot, but the tabloids reported that William was hoisting the sailors aboard with one hand while maneuvering the helicopter through the sky with the other. So there you got it. Prince William was only a co-pilot, while Prince Harry was the best of all the graduates. So who is better than the other? You know, these people need to shut up and sit down. They should just accept that Prince Harry is winning and Prince Harry has always and will always be better than Prince William. No matter what they do, no matter how much they try to uh, make Prince William look like he's better, Prince William is not. He's just trying to compete with Prince Harry. And they should know that it's not Harry's fault that he has a portfolio that any sane person would die for while others only have airplane sleepers. It's not Prince Harry's fault that he is a world-class human while others can't form a cohesive sentence. These deranged people should learn to work hard and stop blaming the people who work for their achievements. And then another crazy thing that happened, royalists edited the Wikipedia page and were using the edited screenshots as evidence that uh, this award was paid for. Imagine, normal adults, normal human beings would not do such things. And this just further shows you how jealous these people are. You know, when people are jealous, they can do anything to undermine your win. They can do anything to make you look bad. But we all know that uh, the award that Prince Harry got was very much deserved. This award is totally not paid for. Even on their own website, and any member can attest to that, the inductees are nominated and voted on by the existing members. So how awful can it be of someone to attack an organization just for associating with Harry and Meghan? It just tells you how horrible these people are. And nothing says loser and stupid more than trying to change a Wikipedia page knowing that people can still track your changes. And from these screenshots, you can just see uh, who edited. It's someone who resides in Norwich, which is the same as Norfolk in the United Kingdom and the company name Virgin Media Limited. So how awful of these people to try and discredit Prince Harry just for uh, his hard work. Prince Harry totally deserved that award and it's totally shameful that these people were trying to do this yet they knew very well that their tracks can be traced. And then we had the likes of awful Angela Levin amplifying this lie. But there's nothing more that I expect from Angela Levin because she's a renowned liar. She's a person who's so invested in telling lies about Harry and Meghan, spreading misinformation about Harry and Meghan. So 
I knew that she was going to be among the first people to grasp this lie and spread it. I mean, Angela Levin is such an awful human being. You know, when her mother named her as a demon or whatever, I think she totally knew uh, what Angela Levin was. And I bet that if this was something to do with the other royals, then Angela Levin would be praising them so much, um, hurling a lot of praises unto them. But now that it's Prince Harry, she's so, so bitter. You know, Angela Levin should get over Prince Harry and Meghan yet. If she thought that Prince Harry was ever going to marry her, then she should know that her time is up. Prince Harry is already married and he's happy. No one would want to be with someone like Angela Levin, someone who just sprouts hatred and likes to spread misinformation about other people. And it's actually funny seeing how these people uh, went into a complete meltdown about Prince Harry's win. Even the Daily Mail then wrote this article saying how, is this a joke? outrage as prince harry is to be named a legend of aviation alongside moon heroes neil armstrong and buzz aldrin at glitzy at glitzy beverly hill ceremony after flying a helicopter in afghanistan see how they're trying to undermine prince harry but it's really funny because um we all can see how prince harry deserves this win they even know that Prince Harry deserves this win, but their jealousy and their constant um, efforts to try and uplift the other royals and then undermine Harry and Meghan are just uh, playing here. But it's never going to work. So they can continue whining and screaming and crying about Prince Harry's win, but no one is going to take this away from Prince Harry. He is a legend and he's being recognized for all the good work that he's done. Now these derangers and the UK media have to balance between Prince Harry and Meghan being snubbed and Prince Harry getting this prestigious award. They can't believe their eyes, right? But that's just how it should be. Well, let me know your opinions concerning all these and I'll see you all squaddies on the next podcast. Have a wonderful and amazing time. Goodbye.